Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. I can't believe this, but on September the 9th of last year, I cryptically did a video stating that I was going to do a discussion on an upcoming film called Karen. Karen the movie. However, time passed. Things happened. And it never came out. Until today. Because there's no Batwoman for the last couple of weeks and there's no Naomi for the last couple of weeks because the Communist Olympics. I have decided to bring you my discussion of Karen the movie. <laughs> oh boy. So if you haven't already, just pause the video, go make some popcorn, get yourself a drink something to make you comfortable a cushion because this is going to be a heck of a ride the movie actually starts off with uh black lives matter chalked into the ground but karen comes along and throws a bucket of water over it and scrubs it out now i have to i have to state that this must have been a directorial you know bit of color no no pun intended bit of color uh because judging by how karen acts in this film there's no way in hell anyone would get into her neighborhood to be able to to scrub this on the the ground before i don't know she gets a gun out or a racist brother uh so that's how it starts off and then we get this little montage of establishing shot establishing shots with this really ominous music um, which doesn't really reflect what's going on because it's a beautiful autumnal day it's a lovely neighborhood and then the next thing we see is this this young black couple who have just moved into the the, the hood the neighborhood sorry it's a bit racist. Uh, talking about oh look We've moved into a white neighborhood. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, okay, the way that this movie has been positioned by the, the trailer, the god-awful trailer, is a young black couple move into suburbia and this horrible racist white woman who can't see past color uh, harasses and harangues them until breaking point but um this couple are just as racist as karen is in, in actual fact this couple can't get over race at all that's all they seem to talk about so yeah they're just like we made it we we made our way, way into a white neighborhood as if they were expecting a medal or something and then we see uh Karen coming out of a house with her two children, her 17-year-old son and her young daughter. And you would have thought by the fact that they're walking out of the house together uh, and the fact that she must have been dressed for a while considering, you know, breakfast and all that sort of stuff. The daughter just suddenly says, hey, mom, do you like what I'm wearing? And the mom's just like, Karen's just like, no. Go back inside and change into the clothes that I put on your bed. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what this is trying to prove. That Karen's a bit of a dick. I don't know, but it's just like... Whatever. <laughs> okay. So Karen spots the, uh, the couple. And because they've just moved into the neighborhood, you know, there's curiosity. There's always going to be curiosity. So she kind of stands there. Then she says hello. And then <laughs> the black couple look like this is the first white person they've ever seen in their life. <laughs> Which really doesn't help their cause. When I say help their cause, I mean... They talk about being discriminated against, but they do just as much discrimination. <laughs> Forget it. Forget it. So they're sort of like, hi. Uh, 
And then Karen comes over and, and says hello to them. Anyway, they bugger off. <laughs> I don't know if this is just me, okay? Because I watched this scene and then I got really confused. Because this woman here, she kind of looks Asian. I don't know if she is Asian, but she comes across and she's just like, oh, who are they? And Karen's like, oh, they're, they're the new neighbors. They've just moved in. And then she's just like, oh, good. The, the neighborhood needs some diversity. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking, wait a minute, aren't you Asian? <laughs> So I don't know if the, <laughs> this person is not actually Asian. And maybe it's the sun that's going directly into their... I don't know what's going on already. Because my eyes are seeing one thing and I'm hearing something else completely. So they talk about the... Uh, I don't know. They have, there hasn't been diversity here since, I don't know, 1952 or so. I don't know. Oh, boy. And then she's just like, bye. I'm not actually Asian, but I really look it. <laughs> okay. This is what I like to call black corner. Because this is, this is the corner of the house. I don't know whose house. Maybe it's their gra a grandma's house that they've managed to borrow. Uh, but this is the corner of the house that the person who actually owns it said you can you can put a couple of things. But don't touch the rest of my old person shit. So this this house, which has got this young, upwardly mobile, young black couple, is gonna look like a, an 85-year-old white grandma's house, <laughs> apart from black corner. <laughs> Look, look, I put a poster of a of a, tri a black person in tribal garb and there's a couple of swords. We must be black, darling. Oh, absolutely. We're totally the black. <laughs> what? So uh, she... <laughs> she talks like nobody ever fucking talks in the world. She's like, you're my strong handsome black man they are referring to color by the way they they can't never not refer to color by the way they are obsessed with fucking color this couple by the way um and yes as you can see for the rest of the house it's just old what's this i don't know there's a round thing on the wall <laughs> Maybe there's an elephant and a, and a leopard. So that's black, isn't it? Oh, my God. And all the furniture is like really old and doesn't seem to fit at all. They've got, <laughs> they've got a head. They've got a head of an animal or some shit on there as well. That doesn't seem like something these people would have. And I buy these people before anyone jumps down my throat. I mean, young, young, upwardly mobile people. You progressive people because she calls she doesn't just call him her her, her woke black uh, she, a black man she calls him her her woke her strong intelligent woke black man eee boy she isn't she's in for it then he's then i shit ye not he's like bend over i want to fuck you <laughs> <laughs> I can't even, I'm not even joking either. I promise you, I'm not joking. He just goes bend over. I'm gonna fuck. I'm gonna flop. <laughs> fuck you in black corner. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> They do realize that when somebody opens the front door, it's just going to smash into Black Corner. Anyway. Oh, no. 
Right, uh, so, so, they hear a noise outside. What's going on? It must be that white woman. Where are the white women at? And they look out the window, and Karen is in store. <laughs> Perfect picture. Karen is installing cameras pointing straight at their house, and they're just like, what? Somebody around here takes personal security very seriously. I, and then the, the woman's just like, I thought this had one of the lowest crime rates. This neighborhood had one of the lowest crime rates in the country or some, some shit. And I'm just thinking to myself, that might be, that might be correct. But, you know, it's maybe, maybe it has one of the lowest crime rates because people put a lot of video cameras and so burglars get deterred but uh no it's it's racism <laughs> it's all racism folks so mr i don't even know what these people's names are uh he's uh he's just leaving to go to work and karen sneaks up on him and by sneaks up on him i mean she stood at the end of his driveway and he he just didn't pay any attention and she's like, hi, I'm Karen. I'm your, your neighbor. And he's like, you take security seriously. And she's just like, eh, why? You know? I'm just looking after myself. We got, I'm not rich. We got no money. If you're casing the joint, are you casing my joint? And he's just like, what? Are you being racism? And she's like, I'm, uh, I'm only having you on. And he's like, ah, I get you. And then she's like, you bin. Did you read the handbook? Because you should have brought your bin in. Make sure you do it properly next time. So, oh, sorry. Sorry about that. She's like, it's all right. What a bitch. What a racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off your trot, Karen. So... We get a, a look at the uh, the city, I guess, in, in where they live. You know, more establishing shots. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Karen is dining out with a friend. And her friend says, So, oh, after drooling over her brother... Her, her tofty tofty friend says, Sir, I hear that you've got some new neighbors. Tell me about them. And Karen says, They're black. And she's like, Oh, no. Not the blacks. No. I know. <clears throat> And I, <laughs> Karen is is like, I know, I know. This is this is what it's like. This is what it's like. So, anywho, there is a a young, uh, I don't know, gay black couple <laughs> in the restaurant, and they're dressed in shirts and ties. They're well dressed, and they're just having a conversation, and they're laughing. They're clearly having a joke between them. And, and then Karen's just like, "You can't laugh." So she goes over to them. She's just like, excuse me. You must be having a good time because I can hear it all the way over there in, on the table right next to me. And the dude's just like, so what? You know, <laughs> so? And she's like, well, if you don't quieten down, I'll talk to the manager. And he's just like, yeah, I get out. Okay, yeah, yeah, whatever. So she goes back and then they laugh again. And that that's it. That's it. How dare those black men laugh? How dare they? Because, of course, we live in a society where this happens every day. Black folks sit down at restaurants. White folks get them kicked out for laughing. This happened. This is a, this is a scourge on modern day. So uh, Karen goes over to the manager and gets them kicked out, and he starts hitting the window while she drinks wine. <laughs> Oh my god, the racisms! The racisms! 
Oh. <laughs> I can't, I can't believe, I cannot believe this scene was written. So the, the guy comes back from work. It's raining, it's wet, ladies. And he's smoking a, 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 a spliff in this car. And Karen knocks on the window and he's just like, oh. And she's just like, whoa, you've been partaking in the substances, haven't you? And he's like, yeah. And she's like, does your wife know? And he's like, nah. So she's like, you know, for the sake of my children, do you mind in the future, like, doing it, like, a couple of streets down before you get home? Now, in a, in a bubble, that's absolutely reasonable. So he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then they get into a conversation. And she's like, so where do you work? And he's like, uh, I I work uh, as a community manager in a in a, like a community outreach center. And then she's like, okay. And then what what's your wife do? And he's like, you're asking a lot of questions. She's like, I'm just trying to get to know my neighbors, which you know, again, in a bubble is fair enough. But we know that uh, Karen is a a woman who doesn't like to see black people laugh. <laughs> she gets them kicked out of restaurants. And he says, oh, she's a successful blogger. So Karen says, oh, so she's the breadwinner in the house, huh? Does she wear the pants as well? And he kind of, uh, he's, he's like, hey, I'm proud of what I do. You know, I work with uh, kids who are disadvantaged. I work with recovering drug addicts and alcoholics. <laughs> I'm just like, you're smoking a fucking spliff in a car. <laughs> so one of the kids who's, who's got a drug habit or whoever's got a drug habit and they're talking to you and they're like, dude, you fucking stink of weed and he's just like oh i guess we don't have to practice what we preach here fucking hell and uh i just decided to do a little bit of research on my own because i had a suspicion that the directors and the producers and the researchers uh didn't actually do a lot of research in this film so i decided to research how much a community manager makes in America and uh, it's around about $47,000 a year and then I decided to to, uh, to find out how much a blogger and I did put successful blogger makes a year and uh, the average earnings of a blogger is $37,000 so technically uh, this guy is the breadwinner of the family, but never mind. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's all good. So, uh, he's just like, yeah, cheers, Karen. I'll smoke me spliff so your children don't see. And then I'll go and tell some drug addict, uh, not to sniff me because I'm going to stink of weed. Uh, she's like, cool. That's great. See ya. So he comes back inside. His, his wife, his, his wife's been a successful blogger because <laughs> she's got a laptop open. And she said, hey, look, I bought this African-esque looking mask and just stuck it right next to me. So it looks like I'm connect. Forget I am. So she, he's like, hey, darling, what's for dinner? And she's just like, oh, I've been blogging so hard. I forgot to, to cook tea. So it's just like, it's OK. I've got an apple. I've got this apple. This is all good. This is fine. This is a got an apple. It's an apple. God, they do this weird thing about the apple for a bit. And she's like, I could order. And he's just like, no, this apple is more than enough. It's all right. It's fine. It's all right. It's fine. And I'm kind of thinking to myself, what are you, what are you actually trying to say in this movie? I mean, I know you're trying to say that everyone who's white is a fucking racist because you're a dumb fuck. But I mean, uh, why else are you actually trying to say? Because are you, are you trying to say that black men are, are useless? Black men aren't as good as black women. They can't provide for them. They have to provide for themselves. 
I, I don't know what, what's trying to be said here apart from it's really shit. So, uh, anywho, uh, she's like, right, I'm going to go upstairs for a shower. And then he's like, right, let's go fuck again. So uh, she's like getting undressed and she's undressing him. And then the kid's watching from the other house. And then Karen's just like, what are you doing? And he's like, Ugh. so she's like, get downstairs. And then she goes to the mirror and, uh, window and starts looking in going, ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that sexy man. Look at that sexy man. Uh, then uh, Black Woman says, I'm not pregnant. And Black Man's just like, oh, for fuck's sake, can you just give me a break? He doesn't. But I'm still like thinking that for him. The guy, he's got a, he's moved here because of his wife. Uh, she works from home. He has to travel to his work further now every day. He's clearly stressed because he's smoking fucking weed. And he's meant to be a counselor for people who are recovering drug addicts and alcoholics he uh he don't get no food cooked for him after a hard day's work and he can't get his wife up the duff he's useless poor guy so she's like i can't you know i didn't i didn't do my job as a husband i didn't do my job as a man fucking hell everyone hates me then i hear a noise they hear a noise outside so he gets the gun from the side <laughs> the side of the bed and uh <laughs> they just go out together in coats holding each other wiggling torches everywhere and then they see that one of the bins has been knocked over oh my god and then you can see you can actually see that a dog is being held back by somebody and then the dog runs away and they're just like, oh, it were a dog, a dog and knocking over the bin. It was a nothing. And I thought to myself, didn't the bins just get uh, done yesterday? Didn't they just get emptied yesterday? <laughs> or are we having these lapses in time that... We don't know how much time has gone past, but how come your bins full up again after it was only emptied yesterday? Never mind. Don't mind. Her. Don't worry about it. And then they realize that Karen, Karen's cameras are pointing directly at the house. Oh my God. So the woman decides to go around to Karen's house this time. And she says, hi. I'm your new neighbor and I'm trying to be really condescending. And I just wanted to bring you this pecan pie to say hello, neighbor. And Karen's just like, oh, yeah, that, that smells so good. That pecan pie it smells so good. And then she's just like, um, hey, we noticed that your camera was pointing directly at our house. So if you wouldn't mind, do you mind just turning it so it's not looking directly at our house? And she's thinking that she's the bee's knees and that she's got Karen in all of this situation. And then Karen just says, ah, oh, no problem. By the way, do you mind not fucking with your window open so my son can see you? He's only 17. <laughs> and she's like, Oh, shit. Sorry, we will put curtains up. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What I'm trying to say is, in a bubble, there was fault on both sides. Okay? There was fault on both sides. On Karen's side, it was racism. On the, <laughs> on the other side, it was illegal pornography or something. I don't know. So Karen throws the pecan pie in the bin and she's just like, oh my God, I, I, oh my God. So they, they put up the curtains, they don't close them and they stand in front of the curtains holding each other again. But this time, this time it's not her opportunity to big him up. It's his opportunity to big her up. And, she's just, and he's just like, I'm so glad that I married a strong socially aware black queen mm -mm. I think, I, i'm just like you guys are fucking obsessed with color by the way 
Why are you standing in front of grandma's bedroom? Look at them. Look at this. Does this look like the kind of furniture that a young couple... Jeez, man. Fuck. And then Karen. Karen's watching them on the, on the cameras. Cut to the next day. <sighs> Fucking hell. And uh, the kid's playing basketball on the street. The guy who's cleaning his car or some shit doesn't even notice until the ball comes near him. But the whole court set up literally right next to him. And the kid must have been bouncing the ball. And I guess out of sight, out of mind. So he tries to connect with the young boy. And what is really going on here is homoerotica no uh what's really going on in here is is it's not too late for the youth not to be racism if we can connect with the youth then maybe society will grow up to not be a racism sasm karens and i cried i cried at that hopeful message Actually, this is all very weird indeed. And if this guy was doing this with me, I'd say, please, sir, do not touch me. I will call the police and it's not because you're black. You are manhandling me. I'm 17 years old and I don't know if you're actually trying it on. So anyway, Karen comes out and goes, go in home. And she's like, Mr. Mr. Neighbor, could you please fill my car with antifreeze? So he starts doing that and then Karen starts touching him up. So he spills antifreeze all over his top. Sorry, I'm trying so hard to keep a straight face for what's coming next. So Karen says, hey, come into, come into my house, take your top off, and I'll stick it to my washing machine. And I'm just like, you're a fucking idiot if you do. And he's like, okay, uh, but I'll just I'll just douse it down. Don't put it in the washing machine. Just, just send me to a bathroom and I'll sort myself out. So she says, yeah, just go down to the Confederacy bathroom down there and take a right. He's like, pardon? What? She says, don't worry about it. So he goes down the corridor. He says, now, was it the first door on the right or the second door on the right? And then he's like, fuck it. I'm just going to go straight ahead because there's another room here and I'm a nosy fucker. So he walks in and he sees all the cameras that uh, Karen's looking at. And he's just like, oh my God, she's a racism. So he goes into the bathroom. <laughs> He goes into the bathroom and he, he puts soap on and he's just like, oh my God, somebody stuck a plasticine confederate flag onto a soap dispenser. And then he looks around and he's just like, oh my God, there's confederate soldiers and confederate money. They're going to hang me. So he runs out of Karen's house going, ah, and Karen's just like, what's all his big deal about? And then he's back at the house and he's just like, well, darling, ah, oh, she's A, she's uh, spying on us. And B, she's got a Confederate bathroom. And she's like, how do you know? He's like, ah, because uh, I was going to take my top off in the house. And she's like, what? He's like, no, it's not like that, babe, darling, babe. Oh, boy. This film's great. <laughs> 